Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Buy This Not That. And today we have a really cool video. We're gonna test the read and write speeds of some of the most popular micro SD cards you can find online. These were all purchased on Amazon. So you have the Samsung 128 Evo Plus, the Samsung 128 Evo Select, the SanDisk Ultra, 128 gigabyte the micro center 128 gigabyte then we have the Samsung 32 gigabyte Evo select the micro center 32 gigabyte we have the SanDisk extreme 32 gigabyte and we have an AliExpress brand Shandian extreme 256 gigabyte we're going to be using a standard all-in-one memory card reader uh, but first we're going to try out the Samsung and the SanDisk adapter this is the specs of the computers that I'm working with this is a 2011 MacBook Pro running High Sierra and I got over here an HP laptop running Windows 11 the 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch just as a reminder we're doing the one gigabyte stress test Okay, let's try our test with the Samsung 128 Evo Plus. This is the red or orange and white. Here's the results for the Samsung Evo Plus, and you're looking at 19, 19.5 to 20 write speed, and the read speed is 88 out of the MacBook 2011. This is what we're getting. So write speed of 14 and read speed of 26. Up next is the very popular SanDisk Ultra. This is the gray and white 128 model. Of course, I got this from Amazon. Here are the results for the SanDisk 128 gigabytes, the white and gray. So you're looking at 27 write speed and 88 read speed. 17 write speed and 26 read speed. All right, so now we're gonna see if the SanDisk Ultra 32 gigabytes, same thing, the white and gray. We're gonna see if this has any difference from the red and and uh, gray or the 128. So these are all from Amazon, so let's check it out. These are the results for the 32 gigabyte, the white. So you're looking at 19 and read speed 38 read and 22 write. Now we're going to directly compare the SanDisk Culture gray and white with the SanDisk Culture 32 gigabytes red and gray. So you can find both of these on Amazon for a really good price. So you're looking at 18, 19 write speed and 88 read speed. 38 read speed, 18 to 20 write speed. Now up the Samsung Evo Select. This is a new Amazon recommended brand. You got 58 megabytes write speed and 88 read speed. 26 megabytes per second write speed and the same for read speed out of this laptop. These are the results for the Samsung Evo Select 128 gig, the blue one. So it's just a little bit better than the 2011 MacBook Pro which we got about 58. This gave us 62 write speed and 88 was the read speed and this is 89 almost the same so we tested another card reader this is the samsung and to our surprise it's the same write speed but a whole big difference on the read speed so that goes to show you that this card reader uh, is a lot higher quality than these sd cards at least when it comes to reading the speed the true speed all right, so we tried another reader. We've been using this one for all of our testing. And now we tried out a different Samsung reader. And we're getting the same speeds pretty much out of the new MacBook. So that just goes to show that these are pretty much true speeds. Now we're gonna test out the very popular Samsung 32 gigabyte Evo Select, the green and white. So you're looking at 29, write speed and 87 read speed out of the 2011 macbook pro 
38 read, 39 almost, and 22 to 23 write speed. Up next is the Micro Center, the blue and white 128 gigabyte. Now I got these in a two pack on Amazon. Here are the results for the Micro Center 128 gigabyte blue and white. So these have an error. They were only writing two megabytes per second. And out of my Windows computer, it's been here for about six, seven minutes and it hasn't done anything. Now these are the micro SD cards that I had on my dash cam, Cobra SC201. And it caused me to lose footage on an accident because it was not writing correctly. So this is the micro center 128 gigabyte. So this just goes to show you that from a different, different SD card reader, it's still just as terrible. So stay away from this brand, especially from the 128 gigabyte baby blue and white one. Up next we have the Lexar 32 gigabyte. And this is the standard Lexar that comes with the cameras that you buy. So these usually are included free in, uh, in the electronics. We're getting around 20 write speed and 87 read speed. And this is one of the free ones that came with the camera. Now we're gonna test out the SanDisk Extreme 32 gigabytes. And this is what I use for my GoPro. So let's see if it's actually useful or not. 51, almost 52 write speed and 87 read speed. Pretty good in my opinion. Out of the HP laptop, 23 write speed and 26 read speed. Now we're gonna try out the SanDisk Extreme, the 32 gigabyte. And we're gonna try it out out of this uh, MacBook. So let's see if it writes uh, and reads better than my 2011 MacBook. So these are the results for the SanDisk Extreme. So we're looking at just a little bit higher write speed. The other one was 50, this is 55. And the read speed is about the same. So that's a pretty accurate benchmark. Now we're gonna try out the only one out of the bunch that's backwards, the Black Micro Center 32 gigabyte, which came in a five pack. So we got around a 23 write speed and an 87, 88 read speed. So we got 16 megabyte per second write speed and 38 read speed. Now, this is one of those AliExpress super deals, right? This is the Shandian Extreme, 256 gigabytes. A2 says class three. We'll see what this surprises us, but this actually already failed on me. So this uh, is garbage, it doesn't work. I put files on it. Next time I tried to look at the files, they were gone. But I just wanna see the read and write speeds. That's the result for the Super Ultra. <laughs> so you got a read speed of 17 and write speed of uh, somewhere around 10. Now we're gonna try out the a little more pricey Samsung 128 gigabyte Pro Plus. This is the one that comes with this adapter. And so let's test out the speeds and see if paying a little more will give you better results. Wow, check that out. 119 write speed and 153 read speed. And that's out of this specific adapter. So we're gonna try this out with what we've been using. So now we've figured out for sure that this adapter, at least this one in specific, gives you a lot better read speeds and write speeds. So let's check out the same card with the SD reader. All right, so here's the difference. Now, this is the same SD card, and now we're trying it with the SD card reader and look at the difference. We're looking at 80 write speeds and 89 read speed. That is a big difference. So that goes to show you that you can use these out of a new computer or almost new computer, very high capacity one, but it's not gonna give you the same results as using a good high quality USB reader because that's a big difference. And that goes to show you the reviews that show different write speeds it has a lot to do with the adapters they use in the computer. Lastly, we're gonna look at the Western Digital 16 gigabytes. Um, this one came with my Cobra SC201 dash cam. So let's see how it performs. 31, 32 write speed and 87.688 write uh, read. 26 read speed and 23 write speed. 
Okay, so this is the conclusion to the ultimate micro SD card showdown. And here are all the other ones. Uh, we're gonna represent the legs are with this one because uh, I put it up already. And I've also put the, the 128 uh, SanDisk Ultra. This is the gray. So this is how I label them in order of good to worst. Remember, you've got to get yourself a good uh, micro SD card reader. I recommend this Samsung. I'm trying to get the uh, Samsung. It's not really focusing that good, but the best one is the Samsung Pro Plus. That one knocked all of them out of the water. This is what I'm going to be using for my dash cam. These two are great for that. So is this one, the SanDisk Extreme, and also the Western Digital. I'd also put some of these in the dash cams, but um, since these are a lot better, I'd opt out for this. These are uh, also a second option if you don't want to shell out the money for these. These are also really reliable for your uh, dash cams or your high-end cameras and these right here well this one you can actually include it here these are the trash the Lexar didn't work the micro center 128 gigabyte was complete garbage both of them and this one the Shan Dion extreme I'm not even gonna say anything about that one so those are my recommendations I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative. Now you know um, a little more information about these cards, how they work, how they read and write speeds, and now you can make an informed decision. Uh, I use these right here for my uh, mini cameras, my trail cameras, my, uh, my little uh, motion detection cameras, action cameras, stuff like that. Except this one is for the GoPro, the Sandisk Extreme, but any of these could work. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Like and subscribe, please. And there you have it. So you should definitely buy this. Do not buy that.